What is up guys? Welcome back to Dan's Reviews and today I'm back for another character spotlight video for today. This one is going to be doing my Maggie character spotlight video for this week. So, uh, this one of course was suggested by Epic Zombie Killer. So of course, big shout out to Epic Zombie Killer for, uh, for suggesting this character spotlight video for this week. And of course, as usual, if you guys want to get a shout out from Dan's Reviews for the character spotlight videos, all you got to do is be the first comment, suggest a character spotlight video that we have not done yet, um, at least in the last, you know, little while at least uh, like nothing that we've done recently and if you're the first comment I will pick your uh, you know character spotlight video and I will do that for next week and I will give you a shout out in uh, next week's video so for this week shout out to epic zombie killer really really cool stuff so um Let's give our thoughts on Maggie from the Walking Dead television series. So, we have done almost 30 character spotlight videos on this channel. That is just amazing. Uh, and I, I'm really excited, though, to continue on because I don't plan on ending ending these, like, anytime soon. So, uh, yeah, that's that's just one thing I wanted to mention. These are not stopping because it, it seems like you guys are really enjoying these. So, um, we're just going to continue on, uh, you know, the character spotlight videos for who knows, maybe years, I don't know, it depends on how long Walking Dead runs for, and all, all these other TV shows as well that I do character spotlights for, but mainly Walking Dead is what I do uh, when it comes to character spotlight videos. So, Maggie is a character I really enjoy watching throughout the show, and I actually think her character got better and better and better throughout the time she was on the show. So, of course, to recap her character, in Season 2, she has the relationship with Glenn. She finds out that the Walkers are not sick people, they're dead people, and she even tries to tell Herschel that, too. Uh, and then, of course, uh, when, the, when the season ends, you know, throughout the season, she loses her mom and, you know, uh, tons of uh, people when the barn is, you know, open and stuff. But uh, basically, I really like, too, how when Beth tries to kill herself after, uh, you know, their mom dies, uh, I, I do actually like when she's like, uh, she tells Andrea, like, I cannot believe you did this. I let you sit with her for, like, two minutes, and you convinced her to kill herself. You, like, you you helped her try to kill herself, basically. Uh, and Maggie's just, like, tells Andrea, she's just like, stay away from us, from both of us. Don't you dare step uh, in front of this house again, or whatever. Um, and I, I do like that line, because it's like, man... Um, you gotta, you gotta understand, I mean, a lot of people actually did, I, I, I know a lot of people actually, uh, did not like when Maggie told Andrea that, but it's like, man, seriously, she left Andrea with her for like two minutes, and Andrea totally ruined that whole thing, so, um, yeah, like, I, I and I like how she's just like, she, uh, like, Maggie, Maggie's just like, she tried to kill herself, and Ma Andrea's just like, no, she didn't, my, and then, like, Maggie, uh, she's like, my father's stitching her wrist right now, you know, and it's like, jeez, man, Andrea, come on, you know, so, uh, I, honestly, like, I agree with Maggie when it comes to the whole Beth thing, uh, no, I didn't really care for the whole Beth trying to kill herself thing, I just, wasn't my thing, I did not enjoy that at all, um, especially when we were trying to see that fight with Rick and Shane, and they kept cutting back to that, but I definitely liked Maggie in that, uh, in that, uh, storyline, that mini storyline there, so, then, of course, the farm is overrun, they have to leave, and then, of course, over the time skip, uh, you know, they're on the road, and then, of course, uh, they find the prison, so, uh, of course, they, they get the prison, they clear out the prison, and then throughout the time of them living there, when they go out on just some run, uh, for a formula, uh, of course, we get, uh, the two of them that are captured, both Glenn and Maggie. So uh, they take them back, of course, to Woodbury. That's really what starts the whole thing. And man, what the governor was about to do to Maggie, though, I have to kind of mention that. Uh, I'm happy we didn't get to see that because I feel like that would have been a little too dark. But yeah, um, and you guys, you guys obviously know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, man, dude, the governor, holy smokes. So yeah, so of course they're captured and uh, Rick and the others come to the rescue as usual and uh, you know they are taken back to the prison and everything's good but now they have a war uh, to uh, to deal with. So of course uh, of course throughout that season uh, we don't see too much from Maggie aside from the uh, you know the will you marry me and she's like yes or whatever. Uh, well yeah actually he doesn't ask her to marry him he, j uh, he just you know gives her the ring she's like yes. So um then, of course, in season four, after the time skip with the governor and stuff, uh, we get to see uh, that, uh, you know, Maggie almost has, like, a, a close call. Like, she's almost pregnant, but, uh, you know, she's not. Uh, she tells him that at the end of the first episode of season four, um, 30 Days Without an Accident is the name of that one, right? So, uh, I think it is, right? I, I, it's been a while uh, since season four, but, man, I love season four. So, uh, we get to see, of course, uh, the governor kind of retaliate. And, uh, you know, Maggie's last scenes with Beth, really, because it's like once they get separated, she doesn't see Beth again. So, uh, we get to see, uh, Maggie and Glenn get separated. I don't really, I, I don't know. 
The storyline with the two of them being separated, I kind of found it to go on a bit too long. Um, maybe it's just me, but I found it to go a little too long than what I wanted to see. I kind of, you know, a few episodes is fine, but they almost had that whole Maggie and Glenn being separated thing for, like, honestly, almost a half a season. And they really did not need to do that. That could have been a few episodes, like two, three episodes, and have that be it. But because you have all the separate groups, we didn't see Maggie and Glenn in every episode in the second half. So, you know, you, you kind of run into the problems where it's like, this is a very drawn out storyline and this and that. So of course they do find each other again. And I do like in, uh, uh, I do like the scene where they find each other. I think that was, uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, Abraham's group kind of mixed in as well, uh, joins the group. Then of course, moving on to season five, finds out her sister is alive. And then of course, um, when, when she thinks she is, you know, we get, uh, the, the, you know, the big moment where, uh, Maggie kind of breaks down. So, uh, of course, throughout that time, they were off with, uh, Abraham's group in season Season five, uh, trying to uh, you know uh, you know cure this thing, right? And Eugene admits he's lying and all that stuff. So of course they were off doing that, and then she gets back, and it's like her sister dies. So it's like, geez, tough time for Maggie, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, really tough time for Maggie. So uh, we get to see, of course, uh, the, uh, the the group arrive at Alexandria. She's kind of working with Deanna. And uh, we get to see Maggie kind of uh, talk with uh, Deanna about, you know, uh, Rick and, of course, what happened in uh, Try when he had the gun up and, you know, the blood all over the face and after he f uh, fought Peter or whatever. And she's trying to convince Deanna not to kick uh, kick Rick out of the group. So uh, we have the meeting. We have Morgan, all that stuff. And, of course, uh, in season six, we find out Maggie's pregnant and uh, we get, uh, you know, the stuff with her uh, on top of the guard tower with the, uh, the herd of uh, walkers or whatever. And... Glenn comes to the rescue, almost gets killed again, which is like, oh my god, how many times did Glenn almost die? Like, seriously. Uh, uh, anyway, so yeah, we have Maggie like, Glenn, no, you know, and then of course Abraham and Sasha and Daryl come in. Uh, can you get the gate? Appreciate it, pal. I remember that specifically. And uh, we have uh, Maggie who's rescued by, uh, well, Maggie and Glenn that are rescued by uh, Sasha and Abraham, which was really cool to see. So... Then we get the stuff in uh, the uh, the back half of the season where she kind of negotiates with Gregory, makes a deal with them, and of course uh, near the end of the season has kind of like a like a problem with the baby or whatever. So they're trying to get her to Hilltop, and then of course Negan shows up and kills her husband. So I mean, a memorable scene for sure. Um, terrible scene for Maggie for sure, uh, and I, I you could definitely feel bad for her. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it, no one should have to go through that. That was just a brutal scene. And a brutal, just a, a, a brutal moment where Negan arrives. Just that whole thing, man. That was just crazy. So, um, of course, she goes to Hilltop. Pretty much over time takes over from Gregory. And, uh, I mean, she is better leader than Gregory. Let's be honest here. And, um wants Negan dead, and then of course when uh, they fight all out war, they, they fight the saviors, and then of course Rick makes the decision not to kill Negan and to save him, and Maggie does not like that. So throughout the season, of course in season 9, uh, after the time skip, hangs Gregory, which you can understand for sure after what he did, uh, and just all the stuff he's done, of course, but the whole thing with the baby, it's just... And he, you know, he tried to get Earl to, uh, to kill her. Really, really crazy uh, when the baby just flew flew out or whatever um, and Maggie was attacked. So we have the hanging. We have, of course, um, Maggie who is on her way to try to kill Negan, which I do like actually where she's like uh, to Daryl. She's like, it's time to see Negan, you know? And he's like, all right, you know? So... And then they kind of walk off. Uh, and then, of course, we have her trying to kill Negan, which uh, decide, she decides that uh, she's not because he's pretty much, she's wor he's worse than dead at this point. And she kind of realizes that. But she had to see it for herself, you know. Um, and then, of course, we have uh, the storyline where, uh, you know, her and Michonne are kind of mad at each other uh, over the time skip. But, of course, we didn't see that, you know, because Lauren Cohen uh, left at that time. So... Basically, that's, uh, after the Negan stuff, that's pretty much it for Maggie, you know, uh, she's there with the others when Rick is uh, blown up, uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, as, aside from that, we, we didn't really see too much else from uh, from her after the whole Negan thing, which is uh, which is a shame, for sure. So, uh, we're going to have to see if she returns in Season 10, I mean, Whiskey Cavalier is uh, ongoing right now, and the ratings are doing pretty good, actually, so... Maybe it'll get a season two. I don't know at this point. But, uh, yeah, I really do like Maggie's character. And I really do uh, think that uh, we definitely needed to do an updated Maggie character spotlight. So thank you, Epic Zombie Killer, for suggesting this. Comment. Whoever comments first for the next character spotlight video, I will pick you in the next video and give you a shout-out. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Write your comments below. I will do, of course, a uh, our weekly Let's Chit Chat video tomorrow. So don't forget to catch that. And I'll catch you guys in the next 